fancy meeting you here if you just watched my last segment. Nice to see you again. If not, welcome. Today we're going to be hiking segment 23 of the Colorado Trail. For a full trail guide of segment 23 of the Colorado Trail, you can check the link in the description below. Likely, if you're hiking segment 23 of the Colorado Trail, you probably have either a great 4x4 car and an awesome friend to pick you up at the end, or you're through hiking and you're just continuing on. In either case, this segment is about 16 miles with 3,500 feet of gain, and it starts here on the Carson Saddle. What's the Carson Saddle? Well, look at these views right off the bat, and they should give you an idea of what to expect on this segment. Segment 23 of the Colorado Trail, like the one before it, is gonna have a lot of open hiking, a lot of exposed hiking, and a lot of hiking above 12,000 feet. Start off segment 23 here, just head down the Jeep road a little bit, and then you'll have a apparently a new version of this segment, which it used to follow the Jeep road all the way down, but now this uh, new trail here allows you to avoid some regain of elevation which is always welcomed it is well marked with the sign up here and the trail just jets off right after to the right here through hikers this is a question for you i've never done a through hike before and jack and i were just talking what is a average day number one so mileage wise like what's an average day for you and number two how many nights are you typically going in between a resupply let me know in the comments below would love to hear your thoughts after a long dry spell on the last segment not much on this one but this is your first good water source. And we are going to soak it up. Into the afternoon clothes here, i.e. it's gonna rain clothes, but I'm not really sure where we're going next. Pretty excited because regardless of where we go, we're gonna be topping out somewhere insanely beautiful. You had a little bit of kind of the real world hitting you in the face with all the OTVs and four x four cars and stuff, but now back to seclusion. You gotta forgive the terrible iPhone zoom, but there's a mama moose and her little baby right in the center of the screen here. Not a bad place for them to live. So next up, we are slowly gonna gain this pass right up here. In the middle of a pretty diesel climb here we got a pass a little bit ahead of us i don't think it has a name but been climbing really for a couple miles now and there are some really steep sections of this definitely not a well-maintained trail and no shots meant to be taken there but a lot of erosion breathtaking look back so you can see the trail goes there goes around and goes all the way out kind of through here but what a gorgeous basin up here good god oh all righty topped out on this pass we've been working at for a couple miles a couple hours it seems like just about three and a half miles into this segment a little over a thousand feet of climbing and uh yeah that's about a third of each of your total segment numbers. So you're chipping away slowly. 
from here we are going to drop down a bit to the other side but first soak in these insane views that are right up here about this a little bit in the last segment uh segment 22 but 23 is very much the same in the sense that it's wide open and you can tell right now that weather looks terrible ahead of us doesn't look great so be sure to plan your day accordingly and if you're here in the summer months anytime july through august really really expect afternoon thunderstorms from like 12 on and kind of have your mileage and tempo and everything into account so that you don't get stranded in a spot like where we are right now what's that stupid ass tiktok into the thick of it that's literally that's us right now all right a little rain shower there we are now dropping down to what's the name of this lake jack cataract. to cataract lake weather hasn't improved but we at least are getting off of the high point hoping to be able to find a little shelter down here and ride out these waves of energy and then hopefully get some more miles in this big climb in here and then you're gonna pop i want to say you're not gonna go down because i think you gain a little bit of elevation but that's more or less the next piece it's funny i'm pretty sure this is a seasonal stream pretty sure it's in one last seasonal water source before you go up and over the pass and you won't have water for a little bit so if this is in not a bad place to top off top of another little saddle pass whatever you want to call it this one wasn't too bad definitely uh, not as bad as the other ones we've had today weather hasn't really improved but we're plugging through I know there's some clouds and rain and but look at these views man what the hell hope this camera does some of this justice how pretty iPhone battery doing with the GoPro extreme outdoor sports camera can't stay alive in the somewhat cold weather look at these views the scottish highlands here what accent is that i have no idea so you got jones niagara american basin on the other side way over there After a beautiful descent down into this area here, you're gonna regain a saddle right up there and then basically kind of work your way slowly this way. So up and over the uh, little saddle there. I'm just gonna stop saying how beautiful this segment is because if your eyes can't figure that out on your own, maybe you don't have them. Uh, it is just crazy. It's, it's like every single inch of this trail, every single saddle and pass you go over, the views on the other side are just absolutely mind blowing. And I fully admit that a lot of this is because of how green everything is right now the wildflowers are in bloom but i mean if you can't smile at this stuff and just like appreciate nature for a second like something might be 
a little bit loose in your head. Not a bad spot to camp. We're gonna call it a night here. We'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning from same spot we camped at last night. About 10 miles into segment 23 here. I always try to keep it real on this channel and I'm gonna do the same in this video. Today's gonna suck. Not only is it a very hard day in terms of elevation, but it's 7 a.m. and we're soaking wet because it's been raining all night and all morning. So apologies in advance for any lack of views you get on this insanely beautiful segment and lack of footage because my priority today is to stay dry and move quickly. The unfortunate news for us is the rain persists and we are staying high as well for a while. Looking back, came over that pass there. So pretty. All right, so just about 12 miles into the segment, and look at the views once again. You got the wildflowers coating the ground. You got the mountains painting the background. And it's not raining for a second, and we are happy campers. Found this uh, hat along the way, hoping I can give it back to whoever dropped it. This is just kind of like a day where if we were through hiking, we probably would have just taken a zero, stayed in the tent, but we don't have that option. So we have to push through. And uh, you know, it's part of being outside is dealing with the elements and type two, type three fun, but it just makes you stronger and it's not gonna kill you. So if, as long as you have the right gear. <laughs> Looking back, so we dropped in from right about there, switched back, came up here, head, you can see Jackie and Aria on the trail. We're gonna eventually end at Stony Pass. 23, right up there with 22, even with the bad weather, you, it's just like, you're so remote. This is some of the remote, most remote Colorado has to offer, let alone the Colorado Trail. And the views are so unique. About two miles left in the segment, you're gonna drop down to the saddle and then work around this mountain to Stony Pass, and that is the end. Stony Pass in view here. Kind of right past those trucks. The end of segment 23. Wrapping up segment 23 here with a short 200 foot climb to the top of Stony Pass. So I'll give you my final thoughts. Um, there's negatives. It's the same as 22. Camping is tough. Exposure is really tough. If you have a day like today, weekend like today, a couple days like today, whatever, and the weather is bad, it's not gonna be super fun. Even though the views today were less than ideal and the weather still less than ideal, still an awesome, awesome segment overall. Definitely in the top three. There's a lot of climbing as well as we're climbing to, to end it. Resupplying, very tough. Water access, pretty good. Not as bad as 22, pretty frequent, especially early in the season here. So that's gonna wrap up our trail guide here of segment 23 of the Colorado Trail. On behalf of Aria, Jackie, and myself, thank you very much for watching. As always, for a full free trail guide, you can check the link in the description below, which goes to my website. You can help support the channel by shopping gear. You can check out everything we're using in terms of gear there as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you're continuing along, we'll see you right now. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next adventure.